Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, done some undermining of the Sith over here. Also had, you know, not killed these guys, but we're going to help these guys get out of the Sith Academy influence sphere something like that anyway we're gonna help them get out of here so there we go so is there news is the passageway clear oh geez that would be real mean it's clear you're free to go it, it's clear we can go thank mm -hmm. you this i wasn't expecting help from anyone in the academy i guess we aren't the only ones who don't agree with everything maybe right maybe the jedi will accept us mm -hmm. i've seen how evil the dark side is Maybe I could try. It's At worth a rate, shot. Thank you again. You've saved our lives. You're welcome. And we did light side things. Yay! Alright, and they're all running. Good. Which means I'm done here. And I can go away. And then, what else can I do to undermine the Sith? interesting thoughts well i mean if i get the cool stuff from the other sith tombs maybe maybe that'll be enough prestige i mean i can also just take what i can anyway Alrighty. Even if it isn't going to be going towards, you know, helping them. I'll still do the whole looting thing. It's kind of what I do best. Look, unless you're willing to lend a hand, leave us to our work. Alrighty. Okay. Whatever you say. What we got in here? Not a lot of good stuff, but enough. Sith student, Sith archaeologist. Another Sith student. Oh, I can't loot any of these. Damn it. Alrighty. Well, I guess we'll go over there. Because this is fine. Advanced Adrenaline Amplifier. Interesting. And I think this is the tomb that I'm not allowed to go into. Yep, Tomb of Naga Sadao. I'm not allowed in. Oh, well. I shouldn't be swearing this early in the episode. Gah! Oh, well. Am I allowed to get this? Yes, I am. And that tomb I'm allowed in as well. So there's that. Tulak Horde, huh? Interesting. Let's go in and see what we can do. See what we can take as well. Patrol droid. Damaged and inactive. I'll repair it. Yeah, I don't see why not. The droid is now active. It will attack any enemies that come in range. Um, engage in patrol mode. That's good. And let's optimize everything. There we go. Leave it alone. The droid engages its patrol mode and moves off to carry out your programmed instructions. Beautiful. In that case, I'll just get rid of that. Just so it doesn't have to deal with that. Now oh, that's the door to the valley. I don't want to do that. I want to let it do my job for me. There we go. Just a little healing. Oh, no. Well, I mean... Might as well help a little. There we go. See? Helping a little makes it a little easier. Well. Some of this is working. Not all of it, but some of it. 
There we go. It's really resisting everything I throw at it. Okay. No, it's not. It's all good now. Yay. Average frag mine. Oh, I'll take the damage. Plasma grenade. A lot of credits. Okay. And now for the wave. Really? That didn't... Okay, I got some of them, not all of them. Tukata Brute. And, okay. Didn't work like I hoped. But, got rid of them. That's the important part. Ancient console. Huh? System online. System status pending. Access door 44 closed. Open it. Unlocking. And I'll just take what's on this corpse. Verpine prototype ion blaster and Mandalorian battle armor. How did Mandalorian get this far in? Noxious fumes surround you. Oh boy. Your party chokes and falls over. Please don't tell me I died. Oh. <laughs> Another idiotic student has stumbled into my little web, eh? Um. The contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> Welcome. Who are you? Awake already, are you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horde, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. It's dusty and full of critters, but it's home. Okay, uh... Who are you? Oh, yes. Introductions, of course. I suppose it is time, isn't it? A little? This other student here that I captured earlier, you should know well enough. His name is... Miko, say hello, Miko. Oh, that's who I thought it was. He's had a hard day. Mm -hmm. My name is Jorak Earl. I was once the head of the academy, so I'm sure you've heard of me. No, never heard of you. No, blast it. What have they been teaching you children in that academy these days? Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see, I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned sin. Most um. of the Drak Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him, didn't I, Miko? Uh, I... Uh. Yes, yes, you're welcome. You see... Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith, but not the gumption that I'm looking for. Okay. What if I told you I was Darth Revan? <laughs> then I'd say you have quite an imagination. Not a bad thing, but not quite what I'm looking for in a proper Sith. Okay. I'm sure we can talk about this. I'm sure we could. We could chat all day about it. But where would that get us? I'm quite determined, and you are quite helpless. Perhaps you have some questions. I'm not above delaying the test a bit. The results are always the same. Go ahead. Do your worst. No, no. Is that any kind of attitude to take with higher education? I'm doing you a favor, really. No, I don't know so about then, that. This is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right, and I torture Miko. Get it wrong, and I torture you. Miko here is a bit weak. He probably won't be able to take much more punishment. Mind you. Get too many wrong, and you'll die yourself. I don't know what you think of Miko. Maybe you don't like him. Maybe you think he deserves to be murdered. Well, here's your chance, fair enough. This is completely unfair. Oh? It's just how long have you been a Sith, anyhow? A bit dainty around the edges, aren't we? Well, then. Any last comments before we begin, Miko? <sighs> 
both survive. Attack him together. Oh, now, yeah. Now, dear lad, do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little you risking their own life? I mean, and how many correctly answered questions before you die? Hmm? No, don't be silly. You had your chance, remember? On that note, let's begin. Now then, your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. What do you do? Um. He's a fine leader, you said. He's good for the Sith. Incorrect! What sort of thinking is that? If all the Sith thought as you did, we would all be soft like the Jedi. <laughs> ah, well. It's time for your punishment. Of course it is. And so oh we come to round two. You come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They plead for help, offering you a reward. What? do you do um i accept the reward and assist them so you've made a profit and now you have some sniveling useless fools trading after you no 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 bad idea bad idea at any rate here is your punishment oh boy and oh, yes. okay you discover an aspect of the Force that gives you great power. Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole? Or keep it to yourself? I share it. You gained an advantage and you share it freely? Let them rip the secret from my dead hands, I say. I mean, share it? Are you mad? Yeah. Well, you did ask for this. It's for your own good. Is it? Still going? All right then. Yeah, I'm still One going. One of your underlings has made do this a mistake which makes you look bad. He's normally very competent and skilled. Do you kill him or give him another chance? Give him another chance. Another chance to make you look poor to your superiors? To make it look like you are weak and deserving of attack? No, 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 no. Think again. Hmm. Not that good help is easy to find. Oh well, here's your reward. Oh boy. Last question. You're about to die. Do you pass on your knowledge to your apprentice to make him stronger? Or do you use your last breath to strike at your enemies? I won't give you the satisfaction of an answer. <laughs> Such insolent students I get these days. You deserve this. And then some. I'll enjoy this one. Time for your medicine. Oh, yeah. Now, well. This is the test is over and you're both still alive. Yep. Well, that's never happened before. Oh, yeah. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Uh, die? I suppose this means you can go, Miko. We'll have to just figure out what to do with our friend here. Run along now. Oh. Well, I could use the force to free them. And we could kill you. Seems you didn't think of that, old man. Yeah, that's possible. Scrutiny. Behave, students. I'll... That's it. Detention for all of you. Permanent detention. Permanent detention, huh? Well, this will work. Oh, boy. I am really, really badly hurt. And it, there's no combat going. Okay, that took a little bit. All right. Beautiful. Who to thunk? Believe that I'm alive. You saved me. You could have easily just answered those questions and let me die. Yeah, I could have. But at the same time, nobody deserves to die like that. Nobody. I see what you mean. I've never, I mean, I've never been on that side of the fence before. It makes you think. I'd be dead if you weren't, I mean, if you were proper Sith. But you're not, are you? No, I'm not. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. This could be a chance to change your ways, Miko. 
You mean the light side? I've never thought yeah. about that. Can you can you even go back? I've done some I mean, I've heard a lot of people. You can always turn back to the light. Yeah, Jihani would know. I don't even though she's turned the other way. Me, but maybe neither are the Sith. Maybe it's time for me to leave. Thanks, I suppose. And good luck. Yay, I did the good thing. Tomb door? What little... Oh, I can get remains out of you. Oh! Ancient Sith tablet. An Opala crystal, 450 credits, which is always nice. And a whole bunch of other goodies. And I can open the Sith car sarcophagus. Tulak Horde's mask. All right, what do we got here? Oh, that's restricted to the dark side. So I need an evil motherfucker for that. Also, it only increases stealth, so it really doesn't help me. So fuck it. I don't need that. I don't know why I'm beating it open when I could just... Oh. That's why. A clay urn. What do we got here? A violet crystal. Interesting. Well, I mean, hey, if I get more color crystals, it's even better for me. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Bondar crystal, okay. Interesting. Uh, saw the body there, but I guess I'm not allowed to loot it. Annoying, but oh well. And what do we got here? Play urn with a Furcron crystal. What the hell is that? Furcron. The Hell's Bells. I'm going to look at the new stuff. Ancient Sith Tablet. This thick stone tablet is covered with ancient runes of an unknown language. It is extremely cold to the touch and almost has a sinister aura about it. Recently carved into the side of the tablet appears to be a primer. No doubt intended to provide a means to translate the runes. Interesting. Oh, so this adds extra damage to droids, plus extra attack. Interesting. Okay, cool. I think I already looted this, didn't I? I did. Cool. Ancient console. Leave the console alone. Bye. We get out of here. I think I've already looted that. Don't need to worry about that. Oh, Shirex over there. I didn't go that direction. Interesting. There we go. Shirex Alpha. Didn't see a lot of those. Okay, well, this is not going to work out well. Alright, we got one. And then I got poisoned. That's fine, because I can get rid of that. Cool. And there's a whole patrol that used to be here. And now they're all dead. Well, whamp, whamp. I've already looted that corpse. There's nothing else in here. All right. Well, oh Jesus, patrol droid is gonna constantly be in my way. I'm gonna make sure to heal myself up as far as I can go before I head out of here. There we go. Alrighty. And we're done with Tulak's horde. Tulak hordes. Uh, I was about to say Tulak's horde. That's not right either. Tulak Horde's tomb is now finished. Cool. We've already looted that. Let us go into here. Hmm. Gallon lore. Oh, hello to you. You're new to the Academy, aren't you? I can't say we've ever met. Yeah. Ah, uh, we have not ever met. You also sound like that one crazy person I was 
talking to in Tulak Horde's tomb. Who are you? Galen Lor, at your service. Okay. Aren't these tombs fascinating? We had no idea the Sith were here so long ago. Why not? Aren't there records? Not from this far back. Or at least what records do exist are sketchy at best. These ruins date back to a period when the Sith were first formed, before their exile into the far reaches of space. Hmm. It's quite fascinating. I'd say so. What are you doing here? I've been working on a translation of some of the runes by this tomb. I'm quite excited. This may very well be the tomb of Ajunta Paul. Who is Ajunta Paul? Ajunta Paul was one of the first of the great Sith Lords. He rebelled against his Jedi Masters and led the way for the rest of us that followed. These runes claim that he was interred here, and I wonder if his sword might not be here as well. His sword? According to legend, Ajunta Paul created a sword of terrible power. Someone who located it could gain considerable prestige. Well, gain prestige. Certainly. Finding such an artifact and giving it to Master Uthar would earn anyone big points. Although I suppose you could also keep it. Mm -hmm. What do you know about the sword's powers? Nothing at all. The legends don't say anything about it. It may have had powers only for Ajanta alone. Hasn't any effort been made into recovering it? Well, a few of the bolder students have tried. Of course. They did not return. Uh, of course. As I understand it, the tombs are quite dangerous. Yeah. The little bit. What makes a tomb so dangerous? From what I've been told, the tombs have old traps and machines that are still active. Yeah. They were that? designed to keep out intruders when they were made, and still do. Yeah. I suppose if the Academy wanted to make a concerted effort, the tomb would be opened. But I think Master Uthar prefers to keep it as a challenge for the students. Very true. All right, I'll be going then. Of course. Don't let me keep you from your business. Thank you. All righty. Tomb of Ajunta Paul. Away we go. Time to raid the Sith ruins. Of all their awesome shit. Really? It's locked. Not for long it's not. Oh. Well, that might be why it was locked. Alright. And now it's time for a wee. That didn't work. There we go. That was weird. All right, that one's down, and we finish off this one. There we go. Hmm. The Sith corpse with demolition sensor parts and a data pad. Whoops, that wasn't the button I meant to hit. I meant to see what that data pad was about. The data pad appears to be the journal of a Sith archaeologist by the name of Varen Gall. Most of it consists of uninteresting notes on the geology of the tomb's caverns, but the final entry is as follows. Strangely enough, I found traces of Therengan in the tomb. This is an unstable black rock used as fuel by lesser races. Perhaps the ancient Sith on Korriban used it as a power source. It is a volatile and dangerous substance and reacts violently to fire. I will have to be careful. Well. Rune-covered obelisk, huh? Huh. Chani Battle Stimulant, huh? There's a whole bunch of robots there. Room covered obelisk. What's this for? I don't know. Severed arm. Oh boy. Oh no. This data pad seems to have once belonged to an enterprising young Sith student who had ventured into the tomb in search of Ajunta Paul's sword. One of the entries is a particular note. There has got to be a way to, getting past, to get past this obelisk blocking the bridge. It seems to be made of some kind of unstable material. I'm willing to bet some kind of energy discharge will set it off. Blaster fire isn't doing the trick, however. I'll have to try some some, some kind of explosive. Blah, 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 blah. I can talk, really, I can't. I just hope that guard droid over there is as defunct as it looks. Probably not. Who's Duran's journal? 
Oh, this was a journal of Duran Keldroma. The last entry reveals what he was doing on this world. Korriban is everything I imagined and feared. I can feel the power of the dark side here. I can sense the Terentatic hidden in this evil place. Shayla and I have decided to venture forth into the Valley of the Sith Lords in search of the creatures. I only wish Gunhan was still with us. Why couldn't he just accept that Shayla and I are in love? He claims our passion for each other will lead us down the dark side, but he can't even see how his own pride and arrogance are leading him away from the light. Maybe it is good that he left after all. Even as dangerous as the Tarantatic are, I'm certain Shayla and I can defeat one without his help. Yeah! About that. Um... No, <laughs> kind of didn't. Oops. Ah, uh, yeah, the spice. That's right, the spice. I found out what the spice was for. Um, I might go back and do that. I might. I don't think I will. At some other point. Maybe on another playthrough. I don't know. On my own personal playthrough. Probably. But, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's not really that special, I don't think. Thorangan Obelisk. Huh. This is where I have to put in an explosive, isn't it? Well, interesting. We move away. Boom. And now these guys are wanting murder. Okay, well. Uh-oh. Rune-covered obelisk. Shit. Well, this is going to be a problem. Time to cross the bridge. And hit the lever. Oh! Oh! The lever destroys the robots. Nice. Booyah. That went better than I expected. Of course it's still locked. Of course it's still locked. Just have to fight for every step. Actually, now I think about it. Oh, I can't go down that way. Damn it. All right, average flash mine. Goodbye to you. Open the door. And here we are at the tomb. And the Sith sarcophagus. I don't know why the screen went black. That was weird. But I got a vibro sword, silver lined sword, and a notched steel sword. Too long. Too long Whoa. in the cold and the dark. I am disturbed again. Oh, the human. Beware of this. This spirit. It may not be what it appears. Great emotion lies within. Mm -hmm. A Jedi here? Why have you come to this dark place, Jedi? Why disturb my sleepless rest? I was here once before, I think. Do you remember me? I do. And yet I do not. The force is so strong with you, human. Yet the face, the soul... It has been so very long. Are you Ajunta Paul? I had a name once. Ajunta Paul. Yes, that was my name. I was one of many. We were servants of the dark side. Sith Lords, we called ourselves. So proud. Mm -hmm. In the end, we were not so proud. We hid, hid from those we had betrayed. We fell, and I knew it would be so. What do you mean by those we had betrayed? Our Jedi Masters. Those who had taught us to use the Force. Who warned us against the dark side. Yet we embraced it in secret. Reveled in its power. We were... Discovered? Or did we act? I... I can no longer remember. 
But here is where we came to hide, to grow, and here we fell. So he considers it a betrayal, what the Sith did. How did you fall? What happened? We hid from the Jedi, but it was not they who destroyed us. Is it not obvious what we did? We destroyed each other. We desired the secrets of each other to increase our power. We battled until finally our fortress rained down on top of us. I suppose that's the nature of the dark side. Power, but no longevity. Eventually it just consumes itself. And so, here, our old secret is buried, and none of us hold it anymore. Is that not right? Our power fled. Oh, what became of us? Do, do the Sith still thrive? Did they ever return? They returned and endanger us all. And the light side must battle them. So much, so much time has passed, and yet we have learned nothing, nothing. What about your sword? Do you still have it? My sword? I filled it with my pride, and it is buried with me now. A corpse, as I am a corpse. I am dead as my faith is dead, and I shall remain here. Surrounded by blackness, in death, as in life. I feel sorry for you. Most of my brethren would desire only to take what power I have left, even if it would destroy them. I wish my sword to be taken away from here. I do not wish it to rot away as I have. I command this of you. Fine. I'll gladly take it out of here. There are three blades within my sarcophagus. Only one is truly my sword. But it has been so long. I do not remember which. Find the sword that is mine and place it on the statue. If it is truly mine, then it is yours. I see. And if the sword isn't yours... Then you must die. This is how it must be. How will I know which sword is it? I do remember one thing of my sword. Listen to me carefully. Okay. I am that which grips the heart in fright, hearkens night and silences the light. It was written of my sword long, long ago. Go then, find my sword and place it on the statue. Place it on the Sith statue over there. Oh, and there's a corpse over here. Let me loot this real quick. Retinal combat implant. Okay. So I have to make sure which sword is actually his. The blade of this sword is an ebony black and notched along its length to give it a cruel and jagged appearance. There is a strange visual effect upon the sword which makes it seem as if the shadows pulse and ebb along its surface. It is very cool to the touch, and upon closer inspection, a small insignia of a dark circle can be spotted on its hilt. Okay. A silver-lined sword is long and straight and sparkles with a silver glow that becomes brighter as the hilt is touched. It is quite warm, and it almost appears that the blade becomes white-hot once it is equipped. Such a fiery weapon would be devastating against any unarmored opponent. A small insignia of a flame is impressed upon the hilt. Okay. Then there's this one. Like most vibroblades, this weapon lets off a dim humming sound once activated. Its length shimmers with a deep blue-colored force field, and its hilt is the black of charcoal. A single insignia upon the hilt shows that of a red baleful eye red eye uh, 
I am that which grips the heart in fright, hearkens night and silences the light. Place a sword in the statue. Go with the notched steel sword. The sword sets itself in the stone as if it belongs there. Is that the yes, right one? That is the one. That is the blade that destroyed me. Take it. Take it and the other blades even. Take them and go. My darkness awaits me. I want to know more about the star map. Our oldest secret is buried, but not here. I remember nothing else. I cannot help you. It, there's no need to remain here, is there? No need? What choice have I? You can return to the light side and end your torment. Return? But I betrayed my old masters. They would never let me return to the light side. It is too late. Too late. I don't believe the light side would turn you away. You have suffered long enough. If, if I could return. Oh, my master, it has been so long, and I regret so much. Light side points gained. I'm such a good guy. I'm cool as hell. And I guess I can open this again. Nope. Okay. Well, then where'd the sword go? God damn it. Ah. Uh, plus two to fire. 515. Held by the Dark Jedi even before he fell to the dark side. This may be one of the few truly personal items owned by Ajunta Paul and remains as thoroughly corrupted as he. My, oh my, oh my. It is definitely pretty cool, though. Not gonna lie. Uh, just not sure who to give it to. You're already wearing... You're already using lightsabers, but... No, no, no. There's no one I want to give this to. Not yet, anyway. Out of here I go. Now that I've done the thing. And then I sent Junta Paul to the light side. He will stay forever. Probably. Okay. Time to get out of here. Stop singing. Oh. Well, hello. I saw Shot you come down. in here, and I rather figured you'd make it all the way to the sarcophagus. Yeah, I did. Good to see I wasn't wrong. What do you want? Isn't it obvious? I've been hoping that someone would do the dirty work in retrieving the sword of a Junta Paul for some time. So, you were waiting for me to do it. You wouldn't have considered, oh, I don't know, getting it yourself? Now that you have it, I just thought I'd relieve you of it. It must be quite a burden, after all. Hmm. <laughs> No, I think I'll manage with it just fine. Kind of you to offer, though. Oh, but I insist. I'm not about to let a chance to impress Master Uthar pass me by. I may like you well enough, but being a Sith is all about taking chances when the moment is right. So make it easier on both of us. Hand over the sword. And if I don't? Isn't it obvious? You die. Rule of the Sith. Only the strong and cunning shall survive. Mm -hmm. You won't be missed, trust me. Now hand it over. Well, you say that, but, uh... What are you going to give me for it? This isn't a negotiation. It as is. As much as I dislike ultimatums, I'm afraid I must stoop. Hand over the sword or die. Nuts, let me get it out. No tricks, though. I'm watching you. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Give him the vibroblade. See? I knew you and I could work this out. I imagine I'll be rewarded well for this. You'll do fine, I'm sure. Another time. Right. Yeah, about that. Have fun finding out I lied to you, you stupid bastard. <laughs> All right. 
Now that we're done with the tomb of Ajunta Paul and Kutulak Horde, Kukukukachu. You, you have the sword, the sword of Ajunta Paul. That's it, isn't it? How did you ever acquire it? Ah, uh, you know, I got it from Ajunta himself, if you must know. Are you joking with me? The Sith Lord still lives? Well, not exactly. Oh, that is quite interesting. Uh, my mentor told me that Sith apparitions might be possible, but I never truly believed it. Well, now I you know. The information. I must go and inform my mentor at once of this strange news. You're welcome. Now we head to the other one. So, Naga Sadao is over there. Tulak Cord's there. Junta Pauls is there. This one would be... Hmm. I'm trying to remember all my Sith Lords. Exar Kun. Marco Ragnos. Okay. Marco Ragnos. Okay. Of course. Forgot about him. Mainly because he's a weirdo. Anyway. Oh, hi there. <laughs> There we go. Okay, well. Okay, this is gonna get a little messy a little quickly. But it's just a long hallway of murdering robots. I can do that. Oh, that's not a noise I expected. Okay. Okay, well. Well, I got most of them. That's good. So far, so good. There we go. And it's literally just a long hallway of me fighting droids. That's all it is. It's crazy. Oh. Well, hello. Too much audio input. Audio systems overloading. Must destroy source of disturbance. Must kill sentience. Um, rogue assassin droid. Uh-oh. Oh boy, everyone. Okay, oh boy, everyone. Everyone just throwing grenades at me left and right. Getting crazy. Okay, alright. That worked out, and I get a level up. Nice. <laughs> okay, that took a little longer than I expected, but it worked out, so there's that. Okay, uh, where do I put this last point? I guess I'll put it into repair. Why not? Nah, I'll put it in persuade. Make myself a little bit stronger in that regard. And what do I want to do with this knight? Master Valor, huh? Immunity to poison. That would be nice. Um, hmm. How about Disabled Droid? Be useful here. Yeah, why not? There we go. And we got this. And you. And you, and you. Got you. And now, and now, I just finish you off. Finish you all off. There we go. And whap. 
and bam. Y'all dead. Okay, I can't... Oh, that robot just died. Just outright died. No trace of it whatsoever. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Marka Ragnos's gauntlets. Oops, that's not the button I wanted. All right. It's restricted to the dark side, but it adds specialization with lightsabers. Ancient but still intact, these gloves appear to be made of black scales. They pulse with a dark power. Hmm. Can't use them, but they are available. These were one strength. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Interesting. No other loot to be had in this area, especially after killing all of the droids. Okay. Then down I go. Unless there's someone down there waiting for me. Which there might be. I mean, considering there was already someone waiting for me in the last tomb I was at, as I was heading out. It's corpse. Didn't get to loot. Data recorder and sound dampening stealth unit. Oh. Sound dampening stealth unit probably was meant for this. The data recorder flashes to life. I haven't been able to catch my poor creation as yet. We've been trying to capture it without destroying it. The thing is too valuable. It is hard to be so quiet as necessary, however. It identifies targets through sound. I'm glad we brought sound, dampen sound dampeners with us, provided that idiot Ben Hual uses his. Well, he didn't actually do that, but it's fine. It's all fine. We did the thing. We destroyed the robot, but we did the thing. Did the thing necessary for us. That's important. All right, and with that, we are all good here. There's not much else I can do. Oh, Dak Vesser, who are you? Greetings. I don't think I've seen you at the Academy before. Here to investigate the ruins. Y yeah, I'm kind of new. Um, who are you? My name's Dak Vesser. I'm assigned to the Valley Ruins, as you can see. Mm -hmm. We've been painstakingly uncovering these tombs for many months now. Mm. Dak? That is you, isn't it? I, I, I hardly recognized you. It's been oh. a long time, Jahani. What are you doing here? Did you fall to the dark side? I didn't fall, Jahani. I had my eyes opened. And don't look at me like that. Last I recall, you were having your own doubts. I was. I'm not anymore. Dak, you could... Save it. The Jedi aren't for me. Not anymore. Look, I'm not going to ask why a couple of Jedi are here in the Valley of the Dark Lords. You I sure? don't want to know. It's better that I don't. In fact, I'll just get out of here and leave you to whatever it is you're planning to do. Fair enough? Running away? Again? Why not? It's what I do best. I take it you two know each other. Yes. Isn't it obvious? I don't want to talk about it here, however. I don't think there's much to talk about. Have it your way, Jahani. You always do. Look, oh. I don't want to be here after you leave. There'll be too many questions, so ask what you have to ask, and I'll be on my way. So, okay. What can you tell me about the ruins? Well, it seems that the Sith once inhabited Korriban a long time ago. There was a fortress here that was destroyed at some point before the Sith abandoned the planet completely. Why they left, we don't know. Perhaps the Jedi drove them off. The tombs in this valley are the only parts of the fortress we found mostly intact. Made any unusual findings? Some. Most of the interesting stuff is still in the tombs. But Master Yutha prefers to leave them to be explored by the students as a challenge. In hmm. time, they will probably become safe enough for us to enter. Until that time, however, we're stuck to digging up the valley piece by piece. Understandable. What can you tell me about them? There's four tombs here. On the right are the tombs of Ajunta Paul and Tulak Horde. On the left are the tombs of Marco Ragnos and Nagasato. All four were ancient Sith Lords. Mm -hmm. 
I don't need to know all that. Nothing Anything else I, I should know? There's supposedly some old Sith hermit that haunts these hills and kidnaps students. Might want to watch out for him. Oh, I've met him. I have to go. So do I. Goodbye, Dak. Bye. And thank you. Goodbye, Jahani. Okay. Let's heal everyone a little bit. There we go. All good. Time to get out of here. And, oh, it is time for me to end this episode, too, as I head up back to the Academy. So, I guess it's time to go. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying my damnedest to infiltrate the Sith. While also looting all of their nice cool little doodads and thingamabobs. And waiting on my party now. But... We will very soon be able to take out the Sith command structure from the inside, eventually. And we'll just have to do that next episode for you.